What it do, homies? This is my first reaction to the Living Tombstone. I'll be getting requests to check out his song, Alistair's Game, with all the hype behind Has Been Hotel. Let's go ahead, shut up, and turn it up. All right. I believe this is my first reaction. I looked at my archives, and I couldn't find anything with this name, so. I got a game I want to show you. If I tell you my name, you'll have to play, too. I've been here for years, biding my time, waiting in prime. Until I could find you to sign on the line, and we can be friends. I'll be here for you until your world ends. Enjoy all your toys I will supply. You only live once, and you'll be mine the day you die. I'll have my payment, your eternal soul's enslavement. You Ooh, you know what's going on here? Look at that. It's very interesting. Do you, do you see what he's doing right here? Now, we know, you know, obviously, this when was this made? This was made three years ago. So this was done, you know, before Hasbin Hotel came out, you know, the original pilot. Um, but you see how he kind of... Look, look, look at him right here waiting to prime and he starts telling him about stuff about the contract and everything but you see both of them are kind of turned looking at that contract just to get up all the wonders and then he starts talking about you know the the, the consequences of what they're about to sign <sighs> alistair man could find you to sign on the line and we can be friends i'll be here for you until your world ends enjoy all your toys i will supply you only live once right here and you'll be mine the day you die i'll have my payment your eternal souls and sleep you're paying attention you divine our dark arrangement you will lovely entertainment the dark desires you've been serving you can bet that you're deserving no regret for who you're hurting why it's almost like you're flirting come into my world take a look at me i am the nightmare on the dark side of the moon i'm your first last resource so call me when you need You know, that's a reoccurring theme that we see in a lot of Alistair songs where it kind of starts off a little smoother and then either the artist or the instrumental starts slipping into absolute insanity because Alistair is a man of honeyed words. He tells you what you need to hear. He does serve those darkest desires, right? We all have them, really. Not not, not dark desires, but you know, the, you know, we want to be the richest person. We want to do all these type of things. That sounds all great and everything, but most of that stuff just tends to serve uh, greed. You know what I mean? So that's that dark desire. It sounds like it's not dark, but it really is dark. And he preys on that. He preys on your desires, right? It ain't like he's just going to come up to you and give you something that you don't want. He knows what you want. He know he, he's going to go, he's going to he blow past the stuff that you kind of want. He's going to go down to the things that you just feel like you absolutely need. And it's all going to sound good. And then he shows his true self. Right here. Right here. Sorry, I don't mean to alarm you. If you asked me to stay, I would be charmed to. You all have such cozy little lives. How do you survive? I got a wish I knew. But you've got a lovely little secret. You're tired of feeling awful small. So you give Mr. Alistair a call to make a deal. Because you're hungry for the sights. You want to see them. Or play the lights. You feel you see that right there when he said that was a secret word right there he said earthly delights right you too busy worrying about all these earthly stuff and everything that you ain't worried about what comes afterwards lights, you wanna see them clear the lights you feel you need them your appetites i'll help you feed them I'll be a sweet play deal demon what's your hunger has evaded don't forget your friend who waited watches you indulge your thirst and did i mention that Before you before you run into this so i'm still sitting here thinking about uh the deal that alistair made with charlie right and he didn't he he said in that deal that he wasn't going you know wasn't for his soul and everything uh but you know when you watch that and you listen to what he's saying you sitting here you you're scratching your head you're wondering you're just like okay you know that deal sounds pretty good obviously you know, this is playing to your strengths, but I just can't see how much more you would benefit from giving me what I want. And that right there is where his special power is, right? He keeps you guessing because you're like, this sounds like it's all beneficial. 
You know what I mean? You said it ain't for my soul. So what could possibly go wrong? I can't see it. I put that up for what you're giving me versus what you want, which if it ain't my soul, then do I care? That's how he operates, man. Because I feel like if we were to be in front of Alistair, we would 100% kind of turn down everything that he would say, right? But you got to remember, he's been doing this for who knows how long. He's very well versed and very careful with his words. He knows, yeah. You know, it does got me wondering. I can see just how strong, stronger it would make Allison is he, if he does, in fact, get his power from uh, souls. Um, what I don't understand is how he gains power from people that are already right in hell. Like, what does he gain from that? But we still got to wait for season two of Hasbro Hotel to determine because I've seen a lot of theories on how Alistair gets his powers. And some of them got some really good ones, some of some really, really far fetched. It's all just head cannon until we actually see it. But I am, I am ready for season two. Anyways. That's the end of this video. Dave's out.